but this will show you a few things that you can look for to make sure that your connections are correct and that your settings are correct. Welcome back to GT Canada. We're doing another video with the PlayStation 5 today. And this time we're talking about how to troubleshoot the connections on your Astro Mixamp to the PlayStation 5. As you know, I've posted a couple videos already on how to connect your Astro Mixamp with a bunch of different setups and you're able to pick the setup that's best for you in your situation. But a lot of the comments on all of those videos are to do with troubleshooting. So I thought I'd make this video to show you guys quickly some ways to troubleshoot your connections to make sure everything's okay and try to isolate what that problem is. First thing that you should know is in my videos I talk about that I did not update the firmware on my Astro Mixamp. I did not have to do that. That does not mean that you don't have to either. So my recommendation would be the first thing you do is to plug your Mixamp into your computer, download the software and install whatever the latest update on the Mixamp is. That way at least you know you've got the latest firmware. I can confirm that with the latest firmware, this Mixamp will connect and my older Series 1 and Series 2 mix amps do connect and work with my PlayStation 5 just fine. However, if yours have never ever been updated, there's a chance that you're running an older firmware that does not work, and in that case, you would need to update anyway. So just do the update, that way you know you're starting with the freshest, latest firmware, which should solve some of your problems right away. The next thing I wanna do is do a USB only connection. And the reason I wanna do that is because I wanna make sure that we're isolating where the problem is. You can easily go from a USB connection on here to the full connection, but if the USB connection is not working, the full connection will never work. So let's validate that the USB connection is working. So to do that, you take just the USB cord and plug it into your mix amp and you should see the lights come on. I have no headphones plugged in. I have just the USB. You'll notice all my lights are red. If you get no lights at all at this step, something is wrong with your USB connection or your firmware. So if you've updated your firmware already, the USB connection needs to be tight. Make sure that it is. If it's not, or if it is tight, then try switching the ports on the back of the PlayStation. The port does not matter. However, maybe when you were putting it into your, into your cabinet, you broke the USB cord or something. Something might be broken, so try a different port and see if the lights come on. Also, if the lights are not coming on and the connections seem okay, try a different USB cord. So in my case, this is just a standard micro USB cord and you can use any cord you like as long as it's micro USB and it supports to a data transfer. We wanna make sure that this light is working. If the light is coming on, the next step you're gonna do is plug your headphones in. So I've got the TR40s and I'm gonna just plug the end into here. And what you'll notice is immediately the lights switch to white on the inside. That tells me that the headphones have connected successfully. If when you plug it in the light does not turn white, something is wrong with this cord, specifically on this end, because I can have the headphones unplugged at the other end and it still goes white here. So it's detecting the cord itself and it's saying, yep, the cord's connected. The next thing I wanna do is see if I've got any sound. And I don't, I don't have any sound. So now I'm gonna use my PlayStation controller and I'm gonna go to my sound setting. Now I know why I'm not getting any sound through here and that's because I already put my output options to chat only because I know I'm using my mix set. Well, on the USB connection, this setting won't work. So I need to go to all audio. Now I check my sound again and you can hear. And you can hear I have sound. This USB only connection is working. The only thing that'll work in here is my volume dial. This button will change the sound, but it won't change it from Dolby to stereo. I cover that in my video over here for the USB only connection. So if this is the connection you're after, make sure this is all good, then go to that video and check your settings to make sure that if they're all done correctly. Moving on, I've got the USB connection working. Now I wanna make the optical connection work. I've got my optical cable right here and it's connected right now. Now my setup is 
from the TV. It does not matter if the sound's coming off of the TV optical port or if it's coming off of an HDMI extractor. We just need to make sure there's a red light. If there's a red light, usually you're gonna be okay. But before we get into the connection and the settings on that, I do wanna talk about your HDMI extractor. You will notice on your HDMI extractor, there is a very clear HDMI in and a very clear HDMI out. You want to make sure that the HDMI from the PlayStation is going to the HDMI in on the extractor and that the HDMI out goes from the extractor out to the TV. It must be in that format. And I know it can get confusing when it's behind there and you've got all these HDMI cords, which one's going where. So make sure you plug the PlayStation in Go to this and then plug another one in from here to the TV. If you have them swapped, you will not get any sound off the HDMI. The light here will still be on. So you will think, okay, my connection's good because I got a light. That is a false positive. You need to make sure that these connections are good. The other thing I hear is when I connect up the HDMI extractor, I get no picture on the TV. Again, you got to do some basic troubleshooting. Unplug the HDMI in from here and plug it straight into the TV, just to try it. So now I've got a cable going from the PlayStation straight to the TV. Does the TV turn on? Does it get a signal? If yes, then unplug the cable from the PlayStation and plug it into the HDMI out on the extractor because we know that cable's good, right? So now you're gonna take the other cable that you have, plug into the PlayStation and plug it into the HDMI extractor. Does the picture show up? If it does, great, your problem solved. If it doesn't, then what we wanna do is use the new cable that went from the PlayStation to the extractor and plug that from the PlayStation straight into the TV. We just wanna validate that the cables are good. If the cable works, then both cables are good and something's wrong with the extractor. So this one requires an external power supply. Most of them will. So you wanna make sure, plug in the power supply only. Does the light turn on? If the light doesn't turn on, it's not powering the adapter up and there's your problem. Okay, so you just gotta work on troubleshooting that through. The other thing you'll wanna make sure is there's a switch on here, and it's a three position switch. It's 5.1 channel, two channel, and pass. Now the settings that I tell you about for hooking up the TV also talk about the pass, or the pass-through setting. We want to make sure we are in pass-through mode. It doesn't matter if you want to use the switch, in Dolby or stereo, this switch should be set to pass and always remain on pass. The reason for that is I do not want this box trying to change the signal in any way. I want the pure, clean signal coming straight from the PlayStation going to my mix amp. And that's the same with my TV connection. I wanna put it on pass because I don't want the TV trying to screw with the TV signal. Once those connections are good, I can plug this in. Now this is still set up for USB only connection. So what I wanna do is go again to the sound settings and this time I'm gonna go audio output and I'm gonna go to chat audio. Because I want only the, the sound from chat to go through the USB and the rest is going to these settings that I show you how to do in the other videos and if you haven't seen them, you can check them up over here. When I plug this in, I should notice that it says Astro Mix Amp Pro. Now if I do not see Astro Mix Amp Pro, I need to back up. I need to go to the USB only setting because even with this disconnected, it still recognizes that this is an Astro Mix Amp Pro. If I unplug it, it'll disappear, and it says microphone on controller. If it says microphone on controller, when your USB is plugged in, something's not right. So you can see here, my USB is not in all the way, and I still see microphone on controller. When I plug it in all the way, now it'll switch to Astro Mix Amp. If I do not see Astro Mix Amp, something is wrong in the USB cable from here to the PlayStation. Check the cable, check the connections. It must say USB or it must say Astro USB. So once I've got it into this setup, I've got all the settings set up according to the videos that I've already posted for the full sound, but I don't feel like I'm getting the full sound. So there's a couple things I can do to test where the problem might be with that. First of all, you wanna make sure your settings are all correct. One of the settings that you really wanna pay attention to is this one audio format priority. 
So in one of my videos, I did say linear PCM. Now linear PCM does have sound, but certain sounds seem to be missing when you have it in linear PCM. So you want to actually put it on Dolby Bitstream. Make sure it's on Dolby Bitstream, and then all the sounds should be good. Now I can go to the game, and you can see with all of my setting, all of my cords in here, my white connection here. One thing that I want to do, and to turn the volume up so you guys can hear, and there you can hear the game music. And I'm going to leave the speakers right here, so you can still hear the game music. I want to test this, the, the mixer. So as I turn it this way, I should notice that the volume turns down on the music because it's trying to adjust that mix. If it doesn't, something's wrong. So I'm going to test this. And it does. It works. That tells me that this connection is good. Another way I can test this connection, just to be sure, because one of the problems people say is, when I push this button, it doesn't seem to make any difference on the sound, even though I have the full sound set up. My suspicion is you are not actually on the full sound setup, you're actually running USB only. So what you want to test is, I'm going to turn this music back up, so you can hear it. If I believe that all the sound is correct, when I unplug this, this the music should stop. And it does. And that's because the music and sound is playing through here, and the chat audio only is coming through here. If I unplug this, and the music continues to play, then I have actually set up only the USB mode and I need to go back into my settings and make sure my settings are right. So that's why we started with USB mode to make sure we could get the sound playing and then switched it to the full mode. So now when I plug this back in, this, the music comes back. And that's because it takes a second for the sound to come through and, and register. So that's uh, basic things that you can check when you're not getting what you think you should with your connection. So you want to make sure all your connections are good, you want to make sure they're right, you want to make sure your settings are right. But this will show you a few things that you can look for to make sure that your, your connections are correct and that your settings are correct. So I hope this video helped you to troubleshoot your Astro Mix Amp connections. Know that you can get a full sound and it sounds wonderful once it's done correctly. And I hope this helped you to get to that point. Make sure to check out the videos over here. We've got a lot of great content in our back library and I hope you can enjoy that while you wait for the next video. If you haven't subscribed, you should do so below. And we hope to see you again, but until then, have a great day.